Hello, and we're going to talk in this video about plant responses, indeed about tropisms in particular. This is at GCSE level, and we're going to be talking about phototropisms, phototropisms and geotropisms. Now, there was one day when I bought some daffodils for my mother-in-law, which is a very sweet and charming thing to do. However, I, unfortunately, I did accidentally knock them over on her kitchen table. Fortuitously, as you'll spot, there was a piece of kitchen roll there, just in time to catch the soil as it fell out. But then I was able to observe these daffodils over the next 20 or so minutes and take little photos of them on my camera phone. And I wonder if you can see what is happening to the tips of the daffodils. You can kind of see it happening here. Uh, and then a few minutes later, in this fuzzy, out-of-focus camera phone photo, you can see it happening a little bit more. Can you see the tips of these leaves, the daffodil leaves, starting to curve upwards? Maybe not that one quite so much, but here, look at this. These are all curving upwards. And a few minutes later, it's happening still. And they're curving upwards like this, bending away, and until I righted them again and took this photograph. So the question is, what was the stimulus for the DAFs to curl this way? And that's something to think about as we go through the video. These are our learning outcomes for this topic and for this video. So you need to know these terms. You need to know positive versus negative, and you need to know phototropism versus geotropism. You need to know the advantages of positive phototropisms in shoots, negative geotropisms in shoots, and positive geotropisms in roots. And you should be able to describe how auxin causes positive phototropism to occur. So here is a photograph of a positive phototropism. What do we mean by that term? Well, positive means grows towards, photo means light, and tropism is a directional growth in response to a directional stimulus. So that's what's going on here. There is a directional stimulus, light, that's coming from this direction here, and the plant is growing towards it in that particular direction. So it is therefore a positive phototropism. Let me just write down the definition of tropism again. That is a directional growth in response, I'm going to go off the page, whoa, to a directional stimulus. And that's what's going on with this plant here. Uh, thanks very much to Jacob who took this photo for us. So what's the advantage of this response? The advantage of this response is really fairly straightforward. It means that the leaves of this plant are going to be better positioned to catch light energy and therefore are more able to photosynthesize, will photosynthesize faster, will produce glucose faster, and if they produce glucose faster, they're going to grow faster as well. Because of those carbohydrates, they can turn that glucose into fats, they can turn it into starch, they can turn it into cellulose. They can, with the help of nitrates, turn it into proteins and DNA. So all good things come from more photosynthesis. Let's explain, if we can, how this phototropism occurs. Here is our directional stimulus, the light. It's coming from this direction here. So it benefits the plant greatly, and particularly the shoot of the plant. So we're talking about positive phototropisms in shoots. It benefits the shoots of the plant to grow towards the light so that they can position themselves better for photosynthesis, as discussed. How does this occur? Well, at the tip here, in the growing region of the shoot, we have a region which is able to detect light and release auxin. Auxin is a plant hormone. That's a fairly old-fashioned term for it, I suppose, but hey, we can deal with that. If you want to be more modern, you could call it a PGR, a plant growth regulator. But let's stick with plant hormone. That 
plant hormone, that auxin, now it will move down the shoot, but it will congregate more on the dark side of the shoot. And as it gathers more on the dark side of the shoot, it will cause cell elongation in this bit. So the cells on this side grow longer than the cells on this side. That pushes the growth in this direction because this side gets longer than the lighter side. Therefore, it pushes it towards the light and that is our phototropism. That's a phototropism. What about a geotropism? A geotropism is a response to gravity. Shoots are negatively geotropic. That is, they grow away from the direction of the pull of gravity. Gravity is pulling down this way and the shoot is growing up that way. It is negatively, going the opposite direction, geogravity tropic, a directional growth in response to a directional stimulus. What's the advantage of that for the shoot? The advantage of that for the shoot is that it is growing probably towards the light. Light tends to come from above. Now, phototropism will also be eventually combined with that as well. So it will grow towards the light because both of a negatively geotropic response and because of a positively phototropic response. But how about the roots? Well, the roots are positively geotropic. That means if gravity pulls downwards, they also will grow downwards. What's the advantage of a positive geotropism? Well, simply put, it means that the plant roots will be better positioned to gain water, which tend to be lower down, to gain mineral ions, which tends to be where the water is, and also to gain anchorage. Those plants would love to stay where they are. They don't want to be blown around like tumbleweed. So anchorage is a big advantage as well. The role of auxin in these geotropic responses is presently unclear. So just focus on making sure that you understand the role of auxin in a positive phototropism. So back to this question, what was the stimulus for the DAFs to curl this way? Well, there are two possible options. One is light. Now there is down lighting here, as you can see, the light is coming from above. But actually this room is fairly well lit. Light's coming from all sorts of directions. So it's actually unlikely to be a phototropism we're seeing here. Instead, I think that this is a negative geotropism. Okay, so let's go back to these learning outcomes. Learning outcome number one, or learning outcome bank number one, you need to know these terms, positive versus negative, phototropism, and geotropism. Can you discuss those terms? You need to know the advantages of positive phototropism in shoots, negative geotropisms in shoots, and positive geotropisms in roots. Can you describe them from this video? And you should be able to describe how auxin causes a positive phototropism. Have a crack at those, and I hope that helps.